Kurt, your takeaway from calling Eagles Chiefs on Westwood One Radio on Monday night is what? Well, I mean, A, that they're both really good football teams. Okay. Uh, I think, B, I came into it thinking that Philadelphia was the better team and would be able to dominate in the trenches. Uh, I left the game not thinking that, that, uh, that Kansas City, I thought, outplayed them for the majority of the game and outplayed them in the trenches. They ran the football extremely well. Uh, at over 120 yards rushing in the first half, which Philly hadn't given up all year. Um, and Kansas City had that in the first half. You know, their defensive line, uh, I thought, played great. Their defense as a whole played great. So I think I have uh, a better appreciation for who the Chiefs are after last night's game, even though they ended up losing the game, um, than I did going in. Now, we all understand the issues. We saw the issues specifically at the key moments at the end of the game with their receivers, which has been an issue all year long, and I believe it's affected Patrick Mahomes in the way that he plays. Um, but still, at the same time, you're playing against arguably the best team in the NFL, the best team in the NFC, and they dominated the game, and they should have won the game, in my opinion. Um, so that's probably my biggest takeaway. I think the other thing you realize is that Philly never panics, um, and – they can win a lot of different ways. We talk about it all the time on our show that they are one of those teams that can win a lot of different ways. So last night, their offense just wasn't clicking. They they weren't making big plays. They weren't doing very much. And their defense stepped up and kept them in the game and let them hang around and hang around, knowing that their quarterback and the playmakers on their team were eventually going to make plays. And um, I think that's the greatest thing about Philly right now is they're not clicking on all cylinders, but – They've got enough ways to hang around in a football game that, and enough playmakers that they will find a way in the end to make the plays uh, that they're supposed to make most of the time. Of your uh, take right there, Kurt, the one thing that leapt out at me that I want to dig into a little bit more is you're saying that you think the receiver issues in Kansas City, whether it's route running, whether it's catching the balls that, say, hit them in the hands, um, is affecting his way of playing what do you mean by that? What are you seeing? Well, what I've seen on tape is that, you know, Patrick um, has been hesitant to to throw the ball um, on time and attack certain throws and reads that I've seen him, you know, make year in and year out since he came into the league is that he doesn't get enough credit for how he plays inside the pocket, how he plays on schedule to what what he sees uh, on every given play. And there are just a number of times uh, this year where he just doesn't pull the trigger on throws. And I can't figure out why, you know, I, I can't believe that's because he doesn't see it because he's looking in the direction. He always sees that sort of stuff. So I have to believe it's hesitation because he's not sure what's on the other end. He's not sure either what guys are doing. He's not sure that they're going to make the play um, or what that is, but it's affecting his ability to play the game. And um, so that's, you know, that becomes a whole nother concern is that what makes him so good is playing that way and then adding the special of Patrick Mahomes on top of it. If he's just got to be the special, we talk about it all the time. If you just feel like you have to buy time and run around and make a play every single snap, even if you're Patrick Mahomes, it's really hard to live in that world instead of just being able to make the layups and throw what's in front of you and trust the guys to just make the mundane routine plays. And I feel like right now he's going to keep slinging. He's going to keep throwing it to him, but there's, you know, a level of frustration and there's a level of, uh, of, of effect that it's having on Patrick and the way he plays the game. And in terms of Philadelphia, Buffalo and San Francisco at home next before a visit to Dallas on a Sunday night at Seattle, over the next month, so there's some tough tests ahead of them. Which team do you think is best equipped? And it could be an AFC team as well. Could it be Baltimore? Could it be Miami if they're if they're they, they start clicking on all cylinders? Which team do you think, or it's the team they 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 beat last night, is best equipped to keep the Eagles from the championship podium this year, Kurt? Um, I'm going to probably say, uh, and again, I always look at Philadelphia, and the first thing that I always think is the trenches. You got to be able to win the line of scrimmage mm -hmm. against them. Just like I talked about Kansas City, why I thought they dominated the game last night was because they won the trenches. And so when I think about that, you know, I think about, you know, two teams and one in the NFC, San Francisco, 
that is a team that can win the trenches. They obviously have playmakers and, and guys that can change the complexion of the game, but they can win the trenches. So I look forward to that game uh, with a healthy Brock Purdy uh, to see how that matchup plays out because we didn't get to see that in the NFC Championship game last year. But that's one team. And then the other team, and again, I, I guess I got to say outside of Kansas City because Kansas City surprised me but showed me that they've got the ability to do that, uh, I would say is Baltimore. You know, Baltimore is another team that – can win the line of scrimmage, whether that's in the run game or the pass game. Uh, they can win it up front. And then defensively, uh, they do so many good things with their front and they can get after you. And there's a lot of different guys that can sack the quarterback. So that is another team uh, that I think could give Philly uh, a run for their money if uh, if they match up. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 